Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the Psalms. My friends, today we are praying Psalm 53. The author of Psalm 53 is David. At the beginning of Psalm 53, we can read Muskil of David means a teaching psalm of David. Now, we have a kind of story behind Psalm 53 and that is Psalm 53 is nearly the same as Psalm 14. but with a couple of changes and the main change would be the word lord is used four times in psalm 14 and the word god three times but whereas when it comes to psalm 53 the word lord is replaced by the word god and the reason is when they rewrote psalm 14 into psalm 53 the author wanted his god to be the god of all the nations and so he wrote the word god instead of lord because only god's people used the word lord in psalm 14 david wrote about moses leading the people of israel through the red sea god saved his people from slavery in egypt and now nearly after 300 years after david died god once again saved his people from the assyrian attack now with great joy and exultation people rewrote psalm 14 into psalm 53 however psalm 53 has its root in psalm 14 and so still david is the writer and author of psalm 53 the author opens the psalm like this the fool says in his heart there is no god they act corruptly and practice injustice there is none that does good who are these fools here who what they here these are the people who don't believe in god these are the people who never trusted in god and here these are the leaders of the assyrian kingdom who came to attack the people of god israelites and now here not only the leaders even other people also became crazy and senseless that's where the author writes all have gone astray each one is altogether perverse there is not even one who does what is good not even one and so all the people the people of the kingdom of assyria have become fools they are fools because they never trusted in god next words needs an explanation let us first read it do they not know better those who do evil do they not know better those who do evil these are the people who came to kill god's people evil people very bad people who feed upon my people as they feed upon bread who feed upon my people as they feed upon bread these people came to kill god's people and they would do this as easily as they would eat a meal they are, and they don't feel bad about it and so now god is very angry with them now let us see what happens next they are going to fear his name with great fear though they had not feared it before for god will scatter the bones of those encamped against you they will surely be put to shame for god has rejected them my friends here now here what happened to this assyrian soldiers the same night god's angels struck all the soldiers 185000 soldiers were killed by god's angel the same night and the following day the whole camp was full of dead bodies this is how god put these people to shame the last words celebrates the victory of god's people over the assyrian kingdom god reversed the whole thing overnight he sent an angel and killed as many as 185000 soldiers and gave them a powerful thumping victory my friends here god reversed the whole thing overnight and let us now read the closing sentence Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad Jacob and Israel stands for the people of God with all these thoughts with this explanation we now read Psalm 53 The fool says in his heart There is no god They act corruptly and practice injustice. 
There is none that does good. God looks out from the heavens upon the children of Adam to see if there is a discerning person who is seeking God. All have gone astray. Each one is altogether perverse. There is not one who does what is good. Not even one. Do they not know better, those who do evil? Who feed upon my people? As they feed upon bread? Have they not called upon God? They are going to fear his name with great fear, though they have not feared it before. For God will scatter the bones of those encamped against you. They will surely be put to shame. For God has rejected them. Who will bring forth from Zion the salvation of Israel? When God reverses the captivity of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. Now let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, O powerful God, O omniscient God, thank you, praise you, I adore you. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this life. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to get to know you, your power. Thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity to come together to praise and thank you this way. Lord, Bless all your people. Bless us, all your people. Bless all your people, especially now who watch this program. Bless their family members. Bless their near and dear ones. In a very special way, we pray for the sick members of our communities, of our families. Grant them healing touch. Give them a healing touch. Grant them speedy recovery. We pray for all people who feel lonely, who feel left out. Grant them comfort. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. As we begin the new day, may we know that you are there with us all the time, guiding us, protecting us. Thank you, Lord, once again for giving us this beautiful psalm, Psalm 53. You gave victory to your people. Lord, give us the victory this day over the Satan, the devil. Help us to be your children. Help us to show your love, care, protection to all the people whom we meet today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hope Psalm 53 helps your faith journey and that is our sincere wish and prayer for each of you. Thanks for watching our program Praying Through the Psalms. Kindly keep watching this program on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends. They can be part of this program and benefit as well. Thank you. See you next with Psalm 54. Until then, stay blessed.